Hey guys, Compulsion84 here. Today I've got another arc tutorial showing you how to make dye. So this is a relatively simple, this bird is noisy, a relatively simple process. And again, you are using the cooking pot, although you can use the industrial cooker if you want to. So this is very similar to making kibble. I'll link my tutorial to make kibble over there. You pretty much need to get a cooking pot, throw some water in it, along with, let's see, charcoal and a berry. And there is a little bit of variation. You can use, uh, you can use spark powder or gunpowder rather than charcoal if you want, but that doesn't make much sense to me. So we'll start off by filling up my water skins that I have with the piping set right up to my little cooking area. You can see it's piped over there to the ocean. I will then throw one water skin in here. You can tell I was making kibble because there's still fiber in here. And I wanna make some blue dye, so I'm gonna throw in some azul berries and I need some fuel. So let's just throw some thatch in there and light the fire. So most recipes use 15 berries, two charcoal, and then some water. You can see how it made five blue coloring real quick. Throw in one more water, and there we go, we've got another five. Now if you are making a dye that is a derivative or has several colors combined, I've been told not to use multiple water skins because you can sometimes get the base of the food coloring, <laughs> food coloring, the base of the dye versus the actual color you want. But for these simple, I'm gonna call primary color dyes, there's no problem at all. So I'm just gonna, I wanna make some black, so I will throw in some narco berries and get this fire burning. Helps not to stop, <laughs> it helps if you don't stand on the fire. And there is an engram for this, or I should say there is a recipe for this, but you don't actually need to learn it. You can just, you know, mix the things up. You just got your charcoal and your berries, throw in some fuel and throw in some water and you're good to go. Uh, there's no benefit to use a canteen versus using a, uh, you know, or a water jar. You might as well just use the water skins because they're the cheapest. If you're ever short on charcoal, just throw a bunch of wood and some fires and leave it burning for a while. You'll end up with plenty of it. Oh, I've used up all my Zool berries. All right, so I'm gonna get rid of those and move on to Tinto berries. And again, it does use 15 berries, which is kind of a lot. So you might wanna be using, uh, you know, either farming or dinosaurs to harvest all these berries because doing it by hand would be a real pain in the butt. And if you want to learn how to make a certain dye color, I strongly recommend you go online. I just typed arc dye list in here. You can get a couple things like the official Gamepedia version, which is what I use. It shows you a very clear, you know, showcase of each thing. And then over here, somebody made a pretty cool one. It looks like in arc itself, which is neat. That might be a mod. But yeah, you can see in here how you can see the, the derivatives and how if you wanted like purple, you've actually got to mix blue and red. You can make a lot of colors. And in case you didn't know, you can also use these to paint not only yourself, but you can also paint your weapons, your dinosaurs. One of my friends named his Argent Merica and then painted it red, white, and blue. So that's always pretty funny to see it flying around. I couldn't remember where I put some of the stuff that I painted is, but I know my friend painted his armor blue and black. So that's what it looks like when you, you know, paint something. Again, you just use the dyes, you mix it with a paintbrush, or eventually the paint sprayer, and you can do all sorts of cool things with those dyes. I lost my bird. Bird. There he is. So yeah, dyes are a really easy thing to make. All you need is some water, a bunch of berries, and then some charcoal and a food source, or I should say a fuel source in the cooking pot, and you can make a whole bunch of it. And it is, you know, kind of fun. You can paint your walls, you can do all sorts of different things. I think painting your armors or, your, or sometimes your dinosaurs is pretty fun, but yeah, I digress. Feel free to take a look at my art playlist up here. And if you haven't seen me before, I'm Compulsion84. Subscribe to my channel for more great gun, gadget, and gaming content. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you next time.